the prevalence of diabetes mellitus is increasing worldwide and is a major threat to global public health that requires urgent action. Over the last few decades, significant advances have been made in identifying novel susceptibility genes and signaling pathways that play an important role in the pathogenesis of diabetes and its related metabolic disorders. However, a major gap in understanding the current global epidemic of diabetes is the lack of knowledge regarding how molecular interaction between the environment and the genes are regulated in altered metabolic milieu. So this conference of type 2 diabetes in Seoul will address these un unresolved issues in the pathogenesis of diabetes and also focus on the latest advances that are linked to the molecular drivers of diabetes mellitus. I think Keystone Symposia always provide an excellent opportunity to exchange up-to-date information in specific topics, in our case type 2 diabetes, and to foster collaboration and to help prepare the next generation of life scientists. Thus, we aim at not only established investigators, but also young or new investigators in the field of diabetes. Particularly, I strongly encourage young researchers in Asia who have relatively limited opportunities to attend this kind of meeting to join this conference. By joining Keystone Symposia, they will learn new knowledge and establish professional contact that will benefit future collaborative research efforts investigating the pathophysiology of diabetes, obesity, and insulin resistance. Keystone Symposium will be held right before 2018 ICDM. International Congress of Diabetes and Metabolism, ICDM, is one of the representative international diabetes conferences held in the Asian region. ICDM covers not only basic research, but also translational and clinical research of diabetes and its related metabolic disorders. The attendees of ICDM are usually around 12 to 1,500 people from more than 20 countries. Thus, I think Keystone Symposia and ICDM are complementary and can provide a unique opportunity that can share state-of-art research from basic to clinical science and also allows basic scientists to interact with the clinical investigators. So in terms of diabetes epidemiology, Asia is very important. First of all, one third of a diabetic patient lives in Asia and numbers of diabetic patients increase rapidly. Second of all, clinical and metabolic characteristics of diabetic patients in Asia are quite different from those in Western countries. Thus, the pathogenesis of diabetes in Asia might be different from Western population. However, critical research data regarding pathogenesis of Asian diabetes are relatively limited. As I mentioned earlier, Keystone Symposia provide a forum to present top quality of science, first the new collaborations, and to help prepare the next generation of investigators. By having Keystone Symposia in Korea, we will be able to get better understanding of the pathogenesis of diabetes in terms of the specific future of Asian diabetes. Along with this, Keystone Symposia will enable us to establish international collaboration and networks among scientists, which will ultimately advance diabetes field in Asia as well as in Korea. We also expect that the young investigators in this region will make a great contribution to the field of diabetes.